film will show you how to do a line check. Although the plane captain will have checked your plane before a flight, it is up to you to make a thorough and complete inspection before each hop. We will demonstrate this inspection with an SNJ, but it is the same with any plane you may fly. Approaching the aircraft, stay completely clear of the propeller. Place your parachute on the horizontal stabilizer preparatory to beginning your check. By using a definite procedure for your line inspection, you will be less apt to forget anything. Establish this pattern of checkpoints in your mind. The cockpit, the trailing edge of the port wing, the port side wing tip, the port side leading edge, landing gear and port side engine section, the front engine section and prop, the starboard engine section, the starboard wing leading edge, the starboard wing tip, the trailing edge, starboard fuselage, the empennage and tail section, the port side fuselage and baggage compartment. The first checkpoint is the cockpit. Both front and rear cockpit should be examined for any loose articles or rags that might foul controls. Check the magneto and battery switch using slight pressure to be sure they are in the full off position. Unlock the controls by releasing the lever at the lower left side of the stick. Visually check the oil level, being sure to replace the cap. Check the port side fuel level and again replace the cap firmly. Inspect both top and bottom of the trailing edge of the port wing, looking for tears or breaks, wrinkles or bulges snap rivets, looseness, or dents in the skin and in the aileron fabric, all of which might indicate structural failure. Check the movement of the ailerons and the condition of the fittings. Make sure that lock nuts are secure and that the pins are made fast by safety cotter pins or wire. When you reach the wingtip, move the end of it up and down firmly, but gently, to detect any excessive movement. Examine the leading edge of the port wing with equal care. When you approach the engine section, keep well clear of the propeller. Look at the landing gear. Notice the amount of oleo showing and check the struts. Be sure bolts are tight and tires properly inflated. Check the hydraulic lines for brakes or leakage. Examine the cowling and exhaust stack for looseness and loose fasteners. Taking care to keep clear of the propeller, walk around in front of the plane. Look at it to see that it is sitting level. Examine, but do not move, the propeller for cracks, nicks, or pitting. Look for any loose fittings or other irregularities about the engine. Make sure there is no oil or fuel leakage. Still keeping clear of the propeller, start your inspection of the starboard side. Be sure the chocks are properly placed under the wheels. Check the cowling. and the leading edge, just as you did the port side. Examine the pitot tube. Then check the starboard wing tip and test it for excessive play. Check the trailing edge of the starboard wing, top and underneath surfaces, just as you did the port wing.
Check the fuel level. Then firmly secure the cap with the starboard fuel tank. Examine the starboard side of the fuselage. At the empennage, or tail group, examine the rudder and elevators for freedom of movement and condition of the surface. Move the rudder so you can see the rudder horn and cables on both sides. Inspect the stabilizer and trim tab fittings for freedom and lubrication. Check top and bottom surfaces of the elevators. Then examine the tailwheel assembly for proper inflation and oleo fluid. Continue your inspection of the port side of the fuselage. Make sure all gear in the baggage compartment is firmly secured. And finally, that the door is tightly locked. After putting on your parachute, you are ready to get in the plane. 